Welcome back here to the yard, and we just want to let you know that this game brought to you in part by Champions Toilets. Champions Toilets, great for poops. And, and what a game we have already. Fossil needing at least two scores to tie this thing up, but I don't know. We'll see. You take a look here at the lineup. It's been, they have really been a stellar team, and really, I think they're definitely a championship caliber team. It, they're def they're contending for the KSD division title, but right behind them is Keller, and no one expected that. That's why this game is so important. Drew Ozakowski jumps out of a tree, does a nice little roll. Nick's gonna oh no, he's not. Oh, Drew Ozakowski's gonna score. Well, that was right out of the gate. That was that was amazing. I, I don't. I don't know how they didn't tag him, but it didn't really look like they did. And well, Reed just got fooled. Look at that roll. That is one of the greatest things I've seen in years. And you know, Reed really late on that one. He might have been able to get him, but... Oh, oh, not this. typical. Look at this again. Nick Davenport usually does a better job than that. And, and again, maybe Chowdhury, but I don't think so. We're Here's on Paul. the other side looking for someone. Billy Adams oh! was in the car. Oh, he was in the car. That. Oh We've my never goodness. Never seen that here. Oh, first time in history. Well, there's a first for everything. Well, huh? and how do you, that? You know, you can blame Paul for falling for it, but you know, no one has ever done it. It's really not typical. And it's just too good. Oh, time. oh Reed Casey. falls down. Casey's taking advantage. For the way. Oh, oh, and he's out. And that's Nick being the good seeker that he is, and he saves the game well, he there. Makes up for, whoa, whoa, whoa. We got some uh, little exchange extracurricular activities here, oh, and a flag and, will be thrown. And I think this one's going to be on Reed, and that's where Keller really hasn't needed him this year. And, oh, it oh. looks like he's going to the penalty box. I agree 100%. That has really been the Thundercats' downfall is – the fact that Reed Booker can't keep his mouth shut. Yeah, and here we get the call. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the seeking team. Player will be in the penalty box until overtime. Well, you see the number of penalties that Reed Booker stacked up, but you know, this is a tie ball game. What do you do in a situation like this, John? Be efficient here. You can't afford to let time slip away from you. That's absolutely right, John. Yeah, that's the way to do it. And we're about to take you back to the coin toss that just happened a few minutes ago. We'll flash you back and show that. Gentlemen, the rules of hide and seek over time are as follows. It is just like sharks and minnows, where one team defends the fence, and one team tries to get one player to tag the fence. If one player on the running team manages to make it past and tag the fence, that team wins. However, if the defending team tags all three of the opponent's players, that team wins. The winner of the coin toss can decide whether to defer or to run and tag the fence. Keller, what is your coin suit? We'll go with this. He steals. What is your decision? We will run. Keller will run. Fossil, you will defend. So here we go, the Thundercats lining up to try to touch that fence. It all comes down to this play, and the winner of this takes the divisional lead. So here we go, it should be interesting. Everything lying on the next few seconds, here we go. And they break off eagle formation. No oh. oh my goodness! Reed has an opening, he and he's going to win the game. And no flags, that's a legitimate touchdown. And, oh, you've seen it all today, and what a finish, I mean... Wow, that's that is just a great job. Mind boggling. You take a look here. They were in the Eagle formation, which I haven't seen since the 70s. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, and you take a look here. Paul Williard's going to take out Casey Raz, and Davenport's going to get on Wazikowski, leaving Reed a lane, and then Williard's going to turn around and take out Adams. And we have Rachel Henderson with Reed Booker on the field. Reed, we've, been, we've just seen the most astonishing play that I think we've ever seen here on Hide and Seek. How do you feel right now? Feels great. Playing a great game, cutting on top, giving 110 percent. Feels amazing. That's good. Now I think all of our viewers want to know how exactly does it feel to be thrown into the pool? Well, it was pretty cold, but I got the heart of a champion. That just keeps me going. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, it's great to hear from you, Ken. Thank you, Ken. Reed. Yeah. <laughs> Back to you, Ken. <laughs> yeah, Reed. And that'll do it here at the yard. Your winner. 
the Keller Thundercats. I'm Phil Dawson alongside Ken Clark saying thank you for tuning in. <laughs> These don't make it through. No. <laughs> Unsportsmanlike conduct. <laughs> oh, just do it. Two. 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 One. Hold on. <laughs> Come on. Go. <laughs> One more time. That's good. Well, I forgot my second question. You can die. It's a bull call. I know. You're retarded. You're getting trampled by a bull. <laughs> Go when you're ready. <laughs> Come on, man. No, not true, so not that. <laughs> Don't push him. Go. Yeah. Mark, you're laughing. <laughs> Here's what it needs to be up, Mark, just like this. Hello, <laughs> comfort.